Alright, welcome to part 3 of the Lantern Tutorial. So we're just about to position this, so... While angle snapped, come over here. And let's... Just position this. So go on the top view. It'll be the easiest here. And just kind of... Get it as close to you can. What you can actually do is if you move it in one direction, then don't move it again. When you zoom in you, and you just drag, you'll get it in that exact same uh, direction. And let me see here. Just don't quite match up. I don't know why, but... Oh well. So, let's go into... Ah, that's why. We don't have a square. So we're going to have to adjust something here. I'm going to say, let's make these a square. So select these and just drag them over. And then deselect the outer ones, or the inner ones, and just match it up. Let's see if this causes problems later, but for now it's fine. Next, select all these verts here and weld. And you can see we had eight verts, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So check. Alright, perspective. And let's see. Oops. Kind of freaking us out here. And that worked out nicely. Let's add a mesh smooth just to double check everything. And give it two iterations. And that looks good. So now we have a single piece of wood, basically. And a rather nice looking corner. And we can always adjust these, because seeing this picture, they're kind of longer. So let's actually do that right now. So go in your edit little poly, go in any view. And in your vertex sub-object mode, just select all these and drag them down. Now, uh, they're longer, just like that. And I'm actually going to make... Well, actually, that's fine. I'm going to see if I can turn off shadows here. Let's just do shaded. There we go. Makes it a lot easier to work with. So, what do we want to do now? Make more of these, I guess. So, editable poly element, I, and we can still select it, so copy it over. Um, clone to object, actually. In this way, we can select it and mirror it on the Y axis. I think is what we want. No, that's not what we wanted. Uh, I want to mirror it. on the X, I think. Okay. And let's see here. Move it over. And we should have no polygons. Good, we don't. So let's select this one. Editable poly, polygon. And I want to select this, grow once, and delete. Okay, and then select this, and attach to that, and you select your one element, and you bring it as close as you can. Now remember, it won't quite match up, so you can go on the top here when you do this. Alright, and then bring it to the left. Perfect. So, we made it a little bit skinnier, if I recall. So what we're going to do is just select these and move it over. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. We need to go the other way. It was these ones we moved. 
So bring these over, match it up, and over here we made this bigger, so match it up, and match it up. Next, select these, and when we weld, we should have 8 welds. This is a 32 to 20, that's more than 8. Don't know why. 1, 2, 3, 4. Hmm. I'll have to look into that. Ooh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, something seems wrong here. I mean, I can't see anything wrong, but it said it welded eight things. There's six in each. It should have welded twelve, but it didn't. So we should be able to see artifacts somewhere. There really aren't any. I don't know. It's very odd. We'll just go with it. Nothing looks wrong now. If I do find something, we'll, we'll uh, fix it. Okay, so we have three sides of our box. That's looking pretty good. Um, a bit bigger than anticipated. I don't know how this will work. Oh, what we can do is once we make the entire box, we'll just scale it down. So select the editable poly and go into polygon front. And actually, I need to select this one, make sure this is right. Okay. And then select all the internal edges here, including these. all of these. Make sure you have everything. And bring it over here and you can clone this to element. Next select this and then select this over here. So these are just both those internal ones. Grow and delete. Now get your element. F3 top and just drag it into place. Okay, it is a bit bigger, but this is bigger, this is bigger, so both these will have to be adjusted as well. So in your vertex sub-object mode, just kinda line things up best as you can. Good to go. And that's good. And that's good. Let's do it on the other side here. Actually, you know what? Let's oops, weld these before we do anything. So, weld. Okay. Let's adjust these. I'm just doing is adjusting the biggest one now, just to give it a more even look as opposed to whatever it was before. So I bring this down, come over here, and perfect. Perfect. Select everything and just weld. Okay, and now we have our box, and it's pretty perfect. I'm going to move it out for one second just to see, okay, there it is. These are different.
you see we have one line here and we have two on the other ones. Now it's not really a problem. And I guess I'll just cheat to get rid of it. So what we're going to do is... Actually, that looks better than the other one. Wait, which one besides which? Hmm. Alright, I'm trying to think of how I want to actually do this. These have three lines. Alright, I'll just target weld them out. So go into your vertex mode, target weld, and just wherever you see one over here, um, which way do we want to go with it? No, this won't work either. Crap. Wait. Yes, it will. Okay. So just bring these ones over like this. And we'll make sure you save before this because you may be screwing it up. I'm just trying to zoom in on the right ones so I can find them. Target weld. Okay, and last but not least, wait, did we do these already? No, we didn't. Weld, weld, weld. Okay. So if we go here, okay, good, now those three sides are similar. And we'll do one more, and the last side will be good to go. One more set, I guess. What I'm going to do is just select these so I can press Z and that will rotate your axis around them. So, target weld. And we need to go in again. Yeah, I still don't know how long YouTube will let me make, let me make these videos. I think it's 15, but I've heard of people getting permission to do more. That'd be nice, but I don't know exactly how to do that. Alright, and let's go on this side. Just zoom in. Target weld. And where is it? Target weld. That. That. And there should be a couple more up here. Target weld. Three more. One, two, three. Alright. Mess smooth. And now it's perfect. So now we have our entire base. Just go here. Um, it's effect boot only, centered object. Go on the top. And let's just position this. So what I'm doing is lining up this line here and this line here to the center. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Where was I? Okay, so we're positioning this. I'm using these lines now, right here, to get it kind of right. What I'm going to do first is scale it outward a bit. That way we have everything symmetrical. And then I'm going to scale everything in to get it just right. And there we go. Now we have the base. Let's actually delete this for now. We don't really need it. 
perfect. So, I guess we can start working on the next little pieces here. So I'm going to select, I'm just going to do it one at a time. So these will be basically pretty easy. Convert to an editable poly. Select your edges. Control A to select all. Chamfer. And that'll chamfer everything. And it'll give us um, pretty well defined edges once we put a mesh smooth on it. Put two. Ooh. Oh, I know why. Okay, you know what? No, let's not do it that way. Let's do it the old-fashioned way. So, let's go... Actually, let's isolate the selection here. Uh, isolate selection... Actually, I'll see you in the next part, because I'm over 15 minutes, and I don't know if this will work now.